We have a couple minutes before the cameras go on, so it's just us. It's, is there something going on with your hair there, Michael? I can't oh. tell. It looks. Do you have your something going on with like a green screen? What's going on? It's no, like there's heads blending into the wall. There's no green screen, Tom. This is my hair. I obviously cut it, all of it, and. Uh, oh my God! I kind of was hoping you. I was kind of hoping I didn't have to address it, but since the cameras aren't on and I can speak to you frankly. Hey, talk to me, talk to me freely, bud. I'm here for you. All right, Tom. The matters of which I'm about to share, you must never tell a soul. Do you abide by this request? 100%, 100% bud. I'm here. You and me. Mano a mano. Good. Now, I understand that what I'm about to tell you old friend, may seem irrational and impossible. However, I assure you, I jest not. Last night, within my dream of saunter, I was visited by a demon. A demon? Yes, sir. An ancient spiritual being, most commonly with a negative connotation. Well, I've this, never heard of a demon in a good connotation. Sorry, Michael, I, I don't mean to interrupt. No, 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 no. We're having a conversation, Tom. In this dream, I was in a shopping mall buying two big CDs. Now, these are CDs or compact discs as you and I know them. Yep. However, they are simply too big. Between 10 to 47 inches in diameter each. Two big CDs is what I was purchasing in this dream. Yes, and as I exited the music shop, carrying my two big CDs, I was confronted with an odorous stench. However, this stench was not received by my nose, no. It was okay. my soul that had sensed this stench. A soul stink. So naturally, I hurried my pace and set for the parking lot to retrieve my car. And as I passed the food court, stocked with stands of edible delights, all of which one would come to expect in a mall food court, of hot course. dog and a stick, McDonald's, Zabaro's pizza, and such. Great steak escape. However, curiously enough, with each vendor offering foods that are simply too small, I noticed over my shoulder the sound of a steel string vibrating to and fro. Right. Why? That is when I saw this demon clad in black with hair down to its chest and a long neck guitar in its grips. I knew at once that evil had shown its dark light on me and I, being a man of good temperament and noble spirit, had not curried said evil's favor. No, in fact, I had inspired its pointed wrath. As the demon flew itself in the air towards me, wailing its said long neck guitar and banging said chest length hair like a tornado of locusts, intent on devouring what good is left in this world. As it reached me, I felt heat on my. <clears throat> excuse. Your excuse. I felt heat on my face. And that is when only mere inches away from being snatched by the demon. I awoke in a sweat. Finally awake, I reached a realization of which I do not claim to understand in any rational sense. The demon's power was in its hair, long and curled, and I knew definitively with no doubt what I must do. I walked into the bathroom and I shaved my head, breaking the infernal bond which had been affixed to me in said shopping mall, inside said dream. And now, I beg of you, Tom Parrot, we shall speak of this cursed encounter no more. 
Michael, I got one more question. Did you shave your head in the dream and then you came out of the dream and you were, your head was shaved or it were, cause you didn't have a lot of hair to begin with my friend. I don't, I don't mean to, you know, let's begin the show air where favor is supposed to be aired or whatever. Oh, are we on? We are beginning the show. All right. I, I'll, I'll, I'll check in with you in a second, buddy. I Stay call strong. you too. Just want to note that I call each seminar a show. Because I consider it a performance of sorts. 